Why hello YouTube and welcome back to another mod installation tutorial. Cheers Radeon for just telling me there's a new software update. I already dismissed that once, but never mind. And this tutorial is going to highlight Zero Hour Enhance, which I played before and is one of the most, I'd say, well developed and well constructed mods on ModDB. And to get this working, at least the way I had to get working. Oh, let me just pop Discord off because I'm actually busy. Thank you. The way I got it working essentially is I use the launcher version, the installer, so this is the enhanced beta installer 0.91. And you also want this here, the enhanced beta version 0.92. So that's to clarify that again, enhanced beta installer version 0.91 and enhanced beta patch version 0.92, so these two. You also want to go onto a site known as bibla.eu and look at what I've got here, just so you can have a look. And you also want to have a look at the CNC Ultimate Collection launchers, and you want to make sure that is downloaded. Moving swiftly onwards, yes, you need to see, you want to go onto this website bibla.eu and you want the CNC Ultimate Collection launchers. And as I literally cannot get it working the mod without the CNC Ultimate Collection launchers like installed or whatnot or actually working. And so, just so everyone knows, installed beta version with the installer, and you want this version. When they're downloaded, you want to just like put them into one of your folders or whatnot, but they're going to your download folder anyway. I've got my own little mod folder, I think, down here, which has them in anyway. Yes, I do. So, with the beta, you just want to install this to your main zero hour directory. I've already done this, so I'm just going to show where you need to install it anyway. Also, installing zero hour mods, they're a lot, most of the process of installing them are very similar, but this one's a little bit more tricky. Also, I have to credit, I think the channel is C Pro Racing, as that is how I originally got it to work myself. And that channel has not a lot of subs, but he's got a lot more views than I do for on any video actually so if you want to ch credit someone and check someone out check them out as well but essentially general zero hour you want to go into origin games for example for me in your main like local files and whatnot or your local pro your programs 86 files and you want to find zero hour and you want to make sure this installed like a lot of my t tutorials in the second zero hour folder i've already done this once that's installed which will take a little bit of time to do maybe five ten minutes Exit out of that. And it's fine. You want to install the fonts as well. You literally just click it. It'll say it wants to overwrite and where it's going to install, and the fonts will be installed. That's no issue. After that, you want your patch, and you want to make sure this patch and all these are dragged and copied into the same zero hour folder which you've just installed the main installation of the mod for. So, Origin Programs 86, Origin Games, zero, Come On and Conquer Zero Hour, then it's the second Zero Hour folder, you want this in there as well. After that, in addition, you also want the launcher, which is this. And just to show how it works, you want this setup will come through. Blah, 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 you're just going to go next. And you just want to make sure Zero Hour is selected here. You can turn this on and off at any point. You can, what I normally do with all my mods, just for quick and easy access but essentially just make sure that's installed and zero hour selected and you're, you're all good to go well for e quick and easy access i have a lot a copy of my main zero hour directory here so i can just literally delete a mod like the old zero hour directory actually in origin games when i'm finished and i just copy and paste this back into plan so you're not re uninstalling reinstalling and so forth doing that all the time now the main important bit now is to see if the mod is working so we need to go on origin I'll just load that up and in addition to that, what you need to do is get Origin Games Zero Hour. Do, 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 find this. And what you want is to find a launcher. And before you don't don't just start the mod, you need to go settings and you need to configure it to what you want essentially. We won't wear for quality line. But yes, make sure you go settings before you start this and configure it, otherwise it's not gonna work. So I save that, and now we're trying to start the mod. If you, I found if you don't use the launcher, but it might be different for other people. It just tries to run base zero hour. It just will not run zero hour enhanced. 
Also, another point to mention is that I seem to have quite a few issues on this when if you just go quit it will freeze the game sometimes so if you want when you've so practically when you're committed to playing this make sure you are committed to playing it so zero enhance we'll just do a skirmish and don't really know who to be but we're just having guys nato and i'll just show you a little bit of what this mod's about mainly just graphic wise it's been a while since i played zero actually And obviously on a better P even better PC you oh, should yeah. get more of a overview of what this is like. Look at it's Joe. Only medium AI. Oh, All you playing like that's the question, is the AI actually working? Sometimes you have to make sure the scripts are installed in the right place, but hopefully they're working. It's been a bit slow because it's Joe. But it doesn't really matter for the purpose of this video anyway. I literally just want to show what a few of the units look like. And a few other goodies. As you see, the graphics have been very much improved upon. I'm also not running this in the fastest day of speed you can be playing this in now either. We'll wait until a few, just build a few buildings just to show what is sort of, how this mod changes up. You'll find this might run a bit slower. But that's, just, that's what you just get because it is an old game playing with a lot higher settings. Let's just produce a few troops. I don't know why this is in such low game speed actually. You do get a few new units, that's the pillbox which you can place. I believe there are new units at the war factory and airfield as well. As you can see that's already one change though, you actually get squad of troops. You can get a biohazard tech. War factory is building. We we'll also have a airfield build as well, just to show some of the new planes. Well, I've covered this mod in the past, and you will find my videos on YouTube. The pillbox is there. There's a firebase. All oh, this is a bit bog standard. Right, so you can build Bradley infantry fighting vehicles. You can build crusaders. You can build paladins. You can build tomahawks. Your Nox um, multi launch, no, is it multi launch missile system? MORS. That's, that's essentially a data to unit. Ambulance, Humvees. Very cool. You can build officers as well. I just look at the way this vehicle moves and fires when I select them to. You can already see how it's been changed. And we can build a Black Hawk, Comanche, Raptor, we can build a few other things. We don't need to build the same unit, I'm just going to build a little plethora of units anyway. Isn't it cool to be fair? Even lightly your sound effects for the infantry. Very, very pretty. I'm going to build a few other units just to show off, essentially. As you can see, the graphics for these, this game has been very much turned up, so it just looks very pretty. And the Humvees have had a redesign as well. It's nice for me to try and remember this as well. I'm going to show you what the Century Jonah Ambulance look like as well. I'm not going to build a strategy centre because I want to leave a few things here just for you to discover yourself. But yes, you also have to check out the video main video which is CR, CR Pro Racing, I believe the channel's called. Just uh, so that's how I found out how to get this game fully installed because you have to, you do need to launch a fully installer version. I found that was the easiest thing, the easiest thing to do. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was handy. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please leave a like and possibly subscribe to me. Check out CR Pro Racing as well. Check out the mod on Mod DB, and I will see you next time, my lovelies.